Hey everyone. <laughs> it says I'm live. My fingers are crossed. I never know what's going to happen. Something different happens every time I do this. And sometimes things work, but a lot of times things don't. But hold on. Okay, so this is day two of the week-long workshop where I'm going to show you um, how I do some of these prompts for your daily art practice. That is a reference that you can download. So today, which is Tuesday, I'm going to show you and demonstrate the color stacks. Now, yesterday I went through the entire um, book that I put together of all 16 of the prompts so that you could get an idea. And this week I'm going to do a couple of them. But anything you make this week, please put it on Sorry, social media. Whoa, my watch was talking to me. Please put it on social media and put um, hashtag art with Adele daily prompts. That way we can see what everybody is doing. So if you haven't already, download your free resource. Um, I've got it in my profile on Instagram and below there's a link on my, in my, YouTube, on my YouTube channel of any one of these week-long workshop, uh, week-long um, demonstrations, the workshops. So today we're going to go do color stacks, number one. So let me show you everything I have. That's what this is. This is the color stacks. So I'm going to put this up here um, or over here. Let's see, right here for now. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to use this fabulous roll, which I love. This is what I'm going to paint on. I am going to take off the um, paper clips and I'll put them on later because I want to have it all out flat. So this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to explain. I'm going to tape sections of this and because um, I'm going to have, I want to, tr I'm trying to do two of these columns because why not? We have the paint out. I'm just going to play with two of these columns. So you'll watch me put the tape on this one and this one. After they're dry, um, I will take them off and then some other time, not during this week, I'll fill in these other ones. But, and then I'm going to show you the paints that I've pulled here. So that's what we're going to do. And what I decided, this one has mostly reds, pinks, oranges, and yellows and black and white. So this time I thought, let's experiment with, here we go, I'll do this. Let's experiment with blues. So I have ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, manganese blue, white and black, and I'm putting the, um, I'm going to make some orange because it's complementary colors. And I just, I just grabbed two of what I had to make the orange, pyrol red and cad yellow. This is just for fun. So don't get detailed about it. Don't judge yourself. Just do, this is supposed to be playful and fun. So just be light about it. So I have some, um, pa um, palette, palette mark, palettes, palettes. Yep. What do you call these? Gosh, my may, my brain is having a, um, just forgetting. And a variety of brushes. So I'm having a medium, well, kind of, this is the large of these three, but um, large, medium, and small brushes. And because that's going to ensure that I have a variety of the, the, um, the, the color stacks. I also have my paper palette, um, paper towels, and some water. So that's it. Oh, and, 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 and some tape. And just so you know, I did before this, I have put the tape, I have prepared the tape. Let me show you. I'm going to put this down here because this is where I'm going to start. And what I've done to prepare it, because I know a lot of people ask, a lot of you ask, and even for me, I've, de I've practiced like, how do you get the tape so it doesn't stick? where there are lots of different things, but I tried this through the whole book the last time and it seemed to work. So this is just the regular um, painter's tape, blue, and I think they have the yellow one that is not as sticky. But with this one, all I did is you, I, I would tear out a long one like this to go from what, however the height of the paper that you're using, and I would just 
go like this over and over like 30 times I didn't do it on this I did it on my uh, whatever it is I'm wearing in the studio I just did it on my leg about 30 times so keep doing it I know it's a lot but this seemed to work over and over it's not as sticky anyway and so you don't have to watch me <laughs> do that to all of them I've already done the big ones here but I just wanted to show you how I did that so I'll put that over here and Okay, let's see. So I'm going to put the next one. And, this, and again, it's going to be in between how wide do I want these stacks? It doesn't matter. You just decide like anything that feels good. I'm going to do it about the same size as this. I don't measure, so it's not perfect. You don't want to be perfect. Stay away from what you think might be perfect. And I'm just going to do another one over here. Like I said, I'm going to try to do two of them. The one in the middle, I'll do another time once all these dry. So this is about right. And all four of these have been um, taped to my, my art smock a million times. I step, you know, just um, tried to get all the glue or the most of the adhesive on here. So, and I'm gonna make sure that it's down very well. And if for some reason, when I take it up and it tears, okay. There's nothing, I mean, that's fine. We just learn. You can paint over it. So the well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these. This is ultramarine. Just put a little bit of them. Let's see, ultramarine. And this is about being playful, okay? I'm not going to remember. This is phthalo. I'll kind of put them in a line up here to show. This is going to be Prussian blue. Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay. I'll put Prussian blue over here. I'll put manganese blue down here. Just a little. If I need more, I'll get it. I'm going to do white. I don't have a lot of this uh, fluid white, so this is just um, so, uh, heavy body that I put into a, a little container. So I'll do that. Again, just use what you have. If you don't choose what you have and you feel like you have to go get this particular thing and that particular thing, it's just, it's going to stop you from doing things. And also what's great about using what you have, you just problem solve. Everything in art is about problem solving. So let's see, I'll move this a little bit over here. And so we have a little bit of black and I always put the black next to the white because I get confused where... Look how dark these are, and I'll get confused. So anyway, that's where we start. So I'm going to take the white and just start mixing. Add a little bit of water and just start mixing. And whatever, there's no rhyme or reason or specific thing. The only like constraint that I'm having here, okay, I'll do a little bit more water so it's more fluid. Um, the only thing is basically I'm experimenting with blues. If I change my mind midstream, totally fine. So I'm going to start over here. Ooh, I like that blue. I hardly know of a color I don't like. So I'm just going to go through and do this. And then when I'm finished with the color, then I'm going to wipe it off on this paper towel. Now, let's see. Now I'll do another one. I'll do a tiny bit of the blue. And this is, gosh, look at this. This is an amazing color. This is the phthalo blue, so strong. And I'll just put that randomly here. Okay, let's see, randomly here. And I kind of, what I've learned is I just kind of went all over, top and bottom, and what I might do, since I have it on my brush, I might do a little one here, just on the side. Just maybe one here, okay. Again, just be playful and have fun. Wipe that off. Okay, you do go through, or at least I go through, a lot of paper towels. That's okay. So, and I don't know if I'm gonna do all blues, and then I'm gonna do some, um, I am gonna do some, a little bit of the orange. So what else? I might do this one straight. This one I think is manganese. Manganese, how about manganese? I'm going to put it down at the bottom here. 
Okay, and I'll do a big one. Let's do a big one for manganese. Okay. And you see how I go off the page at the bottom and I'll go off the page at the top. This is where later I cut my um, strips of, of the paint here and then put them together to form the cover of the book that I made. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of black. How about I'll do black in this? A little bit of black, dark value. I might've put too much black, that's okay. Everything you do is okay. There's nothing that you do that's wrong in art. So that's the great thing. And I love a variety of values. I love some of these really dark, and I'll just do one dark one. That is the dark blue. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna add more blue to make it a little bit different. Let's see. And then what? I'll put it here. I'll put it over here. See, so it's a little bit different. And just so you know, this is what I've learned. If, if some of the colors might seep underneath the tape, but if you, if you start on the tape and pull over and start on the tape and pull over, it won't do that. But I'm not, I don't care that much. I don't, I don't want to be careful with this. I want to have fun and feel free. Okay, so now we've done that. Let's pick up the smaller brush. Now let's go do this. Now I'm gonna do mostly blue and let's see, tiny bit of this. Let's see. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Color mixing is one of my absolute favorite things to do. So I'm kind of like, let's see, why don't we put it right next to the dark here? Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I'm not using any medium in this. Just water. And if it blends in, again, totally fine. So, you know, now I'm gonna keep working on this. Suppose I did even more white. This is what happens. See, you just keep going and keep going. I could do this for a month just with these blues because how many things, you know, are you gonna wanna experiment with? So this is even lighter. It's almost a white, but it's not, which is a great thing to see that you've got this really light blue value. So here's this. I'll put it right in the middle here. Almost looks white, but it's not. And I am kind of careful. And if it doesn't mix all the way up. Okay, no biggie. Okay, now let me, let me see. What's next? See how much fun? So then you can just go, I go back and forth. I like actually doing two of the strips at a time. So I'm going to add this one, which is ultramarine up here. And I'm going to add a dash of black, tiny dash, not so much, tiny dash of black and a tiny dash of white. Probably need a little bit more white to see it, but tiny dash of white and some water. Gorgeous. These colors are gorgeous. I've been painting for over 40 years and I still get excited mixing colors. So I'm gonna go over here. How about that? Okay. And you might wanna just do, um, let's see, do I want a straight edge? Good enough. Good enough. Okay, look at all the fabulous blues. And let me wipe that off. Now let's see, I think what I'm gonna do is now combine a couple blues. I've got this mixed up. How about if I put the manganese in the ultramarine? Let's see what happens. You know, a long time ago, I didn't even think mixing two blues or mixing two reds, but I love it. And then, Let's add a little dash, tiny dash of black, just because I felt like it. Add some water. And I'll put it right next to this. This is one way you can do just color mixing and 
Like if you have a little bit of time to go in the studio and you just want to do one thing, I mean, is this perfect or what? And look, I'm almost both all, both of these sides. I don't. I've hardly repeated the same um, color. So now what? Now I think I'm going to mix them a bunch again. This one and this one. These are both really strong. Can't wait to see what happens with this. And I'm going to add a, kind of a bunch of white. Okay. And pretty soon I'm going to mix some of that orange and put it in here just to see what happens. Okay. And I'm going to wipe some of this off here. It's a little much. I think I'll put it at the top here. Because why not? Just whatever calls you and it says, go do this, do that. Okay. Okay. Do that. I'm going to need a little bit more water, but that's all right. Okay. Now. Now what? Now what? Now what? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. White. This one is almost a purple. So see, and I, I don't really wash or wipe my bright brush off too much because I like seeing all the colors mixed. Now I have a couple of darks, a couple of lights, mostly mediums. So what is it that I want? I'm just going to mix something and hold it up and see. Okay. I don't think I have anything similar to this, so I'm going to go with that. It's still a medium. I don't have a whole lot of light, so I think what I'm going to do is add mostly white over here and add a little bit of this. Let's see what that does. Pretty soon, I mean, I should get a bigger palette, but, you know, this is just what I have. Oh, and that color's getting in. Good, good, good. Ooh, I love that. Okay, now what? You know what? I think I'm going to lay it on top down here. One strip. See, this one is kind of dry, but whatever. How about that? That's the other thing. See, once you move them around, you just go on top of it. Okay, done that. Now, let's see. What's next? Okay, I'm going to do, I'm still going to do some of the big ones first, and then I'll go back and do some of the smaller ones, which are on top of the bigger ones. So I'm going to wipe this off, and now I think I'm going to mix a little bit of the orange, and... I personally like a yellow, I'm going to do a yellow orange, so I'm going to put mostly yellow and a little bit of red. And adjust and tweak if it's not what I want. And that's okay. Probably too much. Looks good to me. reddish orange. And again, don't be so particular. Like mixing, it could be a peach, it could be a reddish orange, it could be a red orange. Yeah, I mean, a yellow orange or a red orange. Don't get too caught up in whatever. I mean, but look how fabulous these are. So I'm just going to do one like this. I'm just going to do a stripe like this before I start mixing them in with the other colors. Okay. And then I might do one over here. I'll do one down here. I love working with complementaries. And if you work with it like this, it's just not only so much fun, but you see a lot, I think. I think you see a lot because you're working directly with them on a bigger type of thing. And you might, a bigger piece of paper. And if for some reason you like one of these things that you do so much, cut it up and make it into a painting and sell it. You can do anything you want. Remember, absolutely no rules. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this and mix a little bit of this in some of these. See what we come up with. Oh, we're coming up with some greens. Okay. Okay, green. And I think I'm going to add a little... Is it a, okay, a little white to that. Gosh, look at that. A blue-green a light blue green or it could be like a medium blue green but gorgeous let's put this right here and the other great thing is if you're working on a paper palette like this make sure you keep this because later and 
two days, we are going to, um, we're going to cut the, I'm going to show you how to make the ellipses and circles by using this and cutting, cutting them out. So let's just add a little bit of this to this one. What happens? Is it greener? Is it bluer? And of course it, it depends on how much you add. But I add a little bit and then continue to add more and then more if you want. All of these are just some cool colors. And look at all the colors that we're getting. So I'm going to do, oh, I love this color. And I'm going to kind of make it a bigger one. Let's just make this a bigger one. Okay. You can see you can do this forever. And I know I, I keep saying you can do this if you have 10 minutes or just a little bit of time in the studio, but you can tell you're going to want to <laughs> not stop. Okay, so let's move this here, wipe this off. And see, I didn't wipe it off totally because I like the, um, when you mix it all together, it's going to give it a lot more interest. Now, let's add a little bit of this to which one? Over here. Just a dash. Even just a dash can really change a color. So see, because the there's a lot of yellow that I added in this orange, it's got yellow, and when you add that yellow orange to a blue, of course you've got blue and yellow, which make green. And that's how we get that. So you learn a lot about color theory and through the compliments and doing all this. Learn, learn, learn. I never stop learning. It doesn't matter if I've been doing this a hundred years. I'm still learning. And I think that's where you really can get excited by, by doing the... Um, you really get excited by continuing to learn, continuing to experiment, continuing to do color studies. So we have a couple more left. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to go over with the smaller brush. And then I forgot to put all these down here to show what I did. So I'm going to do, you know what? I'm going to do a black and an orange. Let's do black and orange. Black and orange. This is a really interesting green. This is like a forest green. And I'm going to add a little white because I want to see it a little bit more. And I would suggest add a little bit of color at a time. And if you want more, then add it. But if you, if you add too much, it's hard to go back. So I'm going to do this. Let's do this down here. Oh my gosh, that's just like a khaki green. I love khaki green. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this off. And I'm going to add a bunch of white. Because I feel like it. I want to see what it does, because I love that color so much. Maybe a little bit too much, but that's all right. Everything we do is all right. I need to put that up. I need to write that down and put it a motto. Everything we do is all right. Wow. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this was the orange and the black and probably some of this other blue and green mixed in. Okay, now I think I've done the big areas. Oh, I've got to put this color over here. So I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna wipe this off now. I think I'm finished with the big ones. Now I'm gonna do maybe some of the middle size, a little bit more and go on top with some of the colors. And what I might do is just do some white. I could just do some white. How about just adding some white here? All right, I'll add a little bit of color, water. It got a little bit of blue from the brush, totally good. All right, I like that. Woo, look at these, I can't wait to take this off. Okay, I'm going to do one more in here. Then we're going to take the tape off. Um, well, actually, I'm going to put some of these, a dash of these on the side. And then you're going to see, we're going to see what we have. So, okay. One thing here. 
what do I want? What do I want? I'm going to do a blue, and I hardly have any space, but that's okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bright blue. I'm going to just make it like this and put it right next to, let's see, got it on the edge, right up here. Just a really fun, bright blue. And this one is Thalo, I think. Was it Thalo or Prussian? I don't remember. Okay, so that's it. This is a lot of dark, whatever. If I want to do more, you can do more. You see how hard it is to stop. So before I do that, I'm going to really rinse this out because I want to put a dash of each one of these pure colors. Um, there we go on the side. So there's this one. This was ultramarine. This is what I used. Wipe this off. Let's see. Then there was Thalo. And you can write these down later if you want to decide, you know, but so that you know what you have. Okay. Um, then Thalo Prussian. Gosh, they're so gorgeous. Okay. And manganese. Look how you can tell just like that. Look how it's it's almost transparent. Well, it is transparent. Manganese. Very transparent. Okay, those four and you know what? And I'm going to put this, I'm going to put a dot of this, and I'll later put, this is Pyrol Red, and this is Cad Yellow that I used. Those two, those, that's what I used. I'm going to put this here. This is what I used for the orange. Okay. Let's see. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This was the red. Yeah, and after this, I'll go back and just put this so that, look how much you have these, and it's so interesting to see. So, okay, one more. Oh, yeah, the black and the white. Okay, we definitely have the white. Wow, these were more colors than I thought. Okay, and we want the black. Let me push this over. Oops, okay, I've got paint on it. No biggie. I love accidents. They make everything so much more interesting. So that's the black. So this is what we have. And so I want to show you when I, I pull it down and away from the area that I, that I painted. Down and away, slowly. And look at that. See? Didn't nothing. Um, I, I pressed it up against my, my smock enough. And if you feel like you can um, feel or hear a sort of tear happening, then stop and go in the opposite direction. But look, fabulous. Let's see what we have here. Okay. All right. And here, this is just like the best, most fun reveal when you take the tape off. And again, go slowly and down, because if you do hear that tear, you want to stop and see if you can prevent it. But that was it. Look at these. And they're two different ones. Look at the colors. Um, it was fun doing this. You could easily go in your studio and do this every day. But this is like, this is like one day that we did. And tomorrow I might do these two. And just you could do go on and on and on, because look how much. Oh, we have. So let's see where we are. So today we did the color stacks. Tomorrow, please join me because we're going to do the light blue, dark blue, and the circles and ellipses. So that means keep your palette. I am going to keep my palette and draw and, and glue from this tomorrow. Use it tomorrow. And one more thing. Don't leave, don't leave. The art with the Dell prompts, hashtag, on social media. And one last thing, one last thing, <laughs> 
Get your resource, click the link in my below if you're watching this on YouTube and click the link in my profile if you're on Instagram. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.